What's up guys? This is Tampa Tech and this is a very long awaited video. I get quite a few comments throughout the years. How do I fix my TV? For example, uh, I have a Vizio TV that has no power. What board do I replace? Well, I could pretty much give you a common solution for a common issue for a particular model, TV model. But the, the best way to troubleshoot your TV to, and find out for sure what board or what component on that particular board is defective is using a voltmeter. I've been using a, a Fluke multimeter over 10 years. My old Fluke multimeter lasted so long. I, you know, I just, you know, I was like, you know what? Let me go ahead and buy another Fluke multimeter. So I went ahead and bought this particular uh, Fluke 113. That's the model multimeter. It reads AC volts, DC volts, all that stuff. Um, capacitors, resistors, diodes. And if you guys are interested in that voltmeter, it's uh, around $100. I'll leave a link in the video description below. That's really going to be the best way to troubleshoot your TV. But in this video, let's, we're not going to be using a voltmeter. This video is for novice techs. But if you guys are interested in how to troubleshoot your TV using a voltmeter, check out the link in the video description below. So I'm going to cover LCD and LED TVs since they are the most popular TVs on the market. So whether you have an LCD or LED TV, Sony, Samsung, uh, uh, Vizio, doesn't matter. If you have no power and the, if the TV is completely dead, uh, first thing I do when I walk into a customer's house is unplug the power cord, wait 30 seconds, plug it back in, and see if that hard resets the TV to get it up and work, working again. If it doesn't, then I move on to checking the standby voltage. But we're not going to be using the voltmeter, I promise. There's another way to check the standby voltage by looking at the TV. If the TV is dead, has no power, whether you press the power button on the remote or the TV itself, but you do have standby light on the TV, the little red glowing light on the front of the, front of the TV, that usually means that the power board is working and the main logic board is defective. But if you have no power, no standby light, that usually means that your power board is most likely defective or bad and slash or your main logic board is bad in very rare cases um, that standby light can illuminate and you'll have like maybe four volts um, enough to illuminate the LED standby LED light but not enough to actually turn on the logic functions in the main logic board so when you press the on button that signal gets first sent to the main board and then the CPU sends a signal back to the main logic board, uh, not to the power board, I'm sorry, to turn on the high voltage. Now, if you had a power surge, that can take out your um, power board or main logic board. If your surge knocked out your cable box, but it didn't trip the circuit breaker, usually the um, surge entered through the cable box, knocking out your cable box, and then traveled through the HDMI cable, connected to your main logic board, knocking out the main logic board. So I would replace the main logic board in that case. But if your circuit breaker in your house turned off, then I would focus on the power board because maybe the surge entered through the circuit breaker, traveling through your um, AC outlet, through your power cord, knocking out the power board in your TV. Or it could be both. Your main logic board and your power board could be defective. So that's something to think about. Uh, I'm also going to leave links in the video description below where to get TV boards. Uh, ShopJimmy.com is a great source. ElectropartsOnline.com, another great source. Um, there's other great sources for TV boards, but those are my two main sources uh, to get TV boards. If you have any really reliable sources that you know uh, where to get TV boards, I would like to hear that in the um, comment section below. Say your TV is turning on and then shutting down. That could mean uh, you have a bad uh, TCOM board or LED driver board forcing the circuit to shut down. What you could do is disconnect that circuit, um, take out the TCOM board that is, and turn on the TV and see if the TV stays on. If the TV stays on without the TCOM board and circuit, then you can assume that the TCOM board is defective. Now, as soon as you put the TCOM board back in and then you turn the TV on and again, the TV shuts off after like three seconds of being on, then you know it's a defective TCOM board forcing the TV to shut down. If your LED driver board is uh, defective, it can uh, cause 
the TV is shut down. So what you do is unplug the, T, um, the uh, LED driver board from the circuit, turn on the TV, and see if the TV stays on without the LED driver board. If it does, then you can assume that the LED driver board is defective. But it could also mean um, LED strips are defective too as well, which is part of the backlight circuit. Anytime you open up the TV and removing boards or removing the um, connections from the boards, always unplug the power cord the whole entire time you're working on the TV. All right, let's move to the next common issue with the common solution. Let's say you have vertical lines all over the screen. Um, I'm gonna leave a picture right here, what it looks like. And let's say you have the proper voltage going to all the boards. Now, that could mean that you have a bad TCOM board. The TCOM board is directly connected to the LCD panel. Other common issues with the TCOM board is um, a, no picture at all, vertical lines on the screen, a half picture, or distorted colors. So even though a TCOM board is a common solution for those issues, it, you can still have issues with uh, TCOM connections, so the TCOM board connection going to the LCD panel, or the LCD panel itself is defective. If the TV is over, uh, I think a 32 inch, replacing the LCD screen is not really cost effective. Horizontal lines on the screen usually means that you have a defective LCD panel. Now, if you have no picture at all, and you take a flashlight to the screen, you have the lights off in your room, and you take a flashlight to the screen, and you hit the menu button or the input button, and you see a very dark image of the input or menu on the screen, that can mean um, that the TCOM board is working, and the backlight circuit is not working, which is the LED driver board if you have LED TV, or inverter boards if you have LCD TV. Turn off all the lights, and you don't have a glow from your backlight, the screen, then usually that means that your LED strips are, could be defective, the LED driver board could be defective. If you have a traditional LCD TV, your inverter boards could be defective, or the CCFL tubes could be defective. Sometimes the inverter boards or the LED driver boards could be built into the power board, so keep that in mind. If you have no audio at all, but you do have a picture, again, try to hard reset that TV, see if that works, uh, check your settings and see if the internal speakers are turned off, but usually the main logic board is defective. Um, the main logic board is also known as the audio video board in some cases, uh, but very few TVs would have a separate audio board. Nowadays, um, the audio circuit is built into the main board circuit. So if you have no audio, that could possibly mean that you, uh, your main board is defective. But if you open up the TV and you see a separate board for the audio, you'll know because you'll, there'll be like uh, speaker wires going from that board to the speakers. And that, that's how you know it. that's the audio board. If you have a snowy picture on your TV screen, that could be a bad RF connector. So you check the RF connector and see if it's loose, or you could check the RF connection on the main logic board and see if it needs to be soldered. No signal on your TV screen could be a bad HDMI connection on your cable. Check the pins inside your HDMI cable or swap it out. Or you could also check the HDMI connections on the main logic board. If they look bad, then switch out the main, uh, main board. Sometimes the HDMI IC on the main board can go bad. If it looks burnt, then replace the main board. And if the HDMI connection is loose, solder it, solder the ground, solder joints on the connection. So hopefully this video helped you out. If it did, give me a big thumbs up. If you guys want more how-to videos like this coming your way, subscribe to Tampa Tech, click on the subscribe button right here or down below. If you know anyone this video will help, go ahead and click on the share button below and share this video to them, help someone out. And if you want to check out my other TV repair videos, click on this playlist right here. Thanks guys for watching.